morning everybody so i'm heading off to camp for 2022 new hampshire season it's been going on for over a week now up there but the guys have said they've been seeing bucks they've been seeing lots of deer getting chased so i'm off to uh see what i can do so we'll see you guys uh when we get to camp Well, listen to a little Christmas music, <clears throat> and uh, got about 10 minutes till I get to camp. I'm excited. My son told me, he goes, Daddy, you got to shoot a big, huge deer. I said, big, huge. He goes, yeah. I said, how big? He says, I don't know. And I said, 200 pounds? He said, 300. I said, dude, I'm going to need a tow truck to get that out of the woods. Really? He says said yeah that's a big deer i told him i was like i'll shoot any legal deer that i can find up here in new hampshire i'm not picky and you know haven't gotten one in a couple years i want to fill the freezer and uh, when i get home you know my daughter wants to get back out hunting uh, so we'll definitely be going hunting uh sunday possibly monday in between doing her doing her school work but I'm really anxious to get up here. The guys have said they've seen bucks, they've seen does, there's a lot of sign, there's a lot of deer chasing each other. So I'm anxious to see what it's gonna turn out to be. Last year, there wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Well, I've arrived at camp. Just making it up the road right now. See if any of the boys are awake. It's almost six o'clock, they better be awake. <laughs> I know they've been waiting for pumpkin bread and apple bread that my wife made. So we're gonna get up here and see if they want some. So we'll see you out in the woods, guys. All right, everybody, so I am uh, out hunting in New Hampshire. Came up this logging road, turned around, parked back a little bit farther. I uh, didn't see any tracks crossing the road coming up, but... I'm gonna go take a walk, get up on the ridge up there. Just gonna take my time all day. Got a couple sandwiches, some cheese, and some pepperoni sticks. And we're gonna go see if we can shoot a deer. So stay tuned. I've been uh, walking up this logging road. I think my deer hunt's gonna turn into a coyote hunt. All I've seen are coyote tracks. There must be 10, 12 different sets of them. I can go up this way. Oh, I'm gonna go up that way. That way instead. Get up on top of the mountain. I haven't cut a single deer track yet. There's fresh snow. Whew, getting winded. Glad I brought water and a couple sandwiches. Get to it. Well, I found my first buck track. It's got snow in it, but rather than not finding anything, I'm gonna make my way up here, up on the mountain. See if he's hanging around up here. I've been on this deer for about 20 minutes. Still snowed in, but it's definitely a buck. Um, down below, bedded down some point last night got up and seed so I'm gonna get to the top up here once I get to the very top I'm sure it's gonna be zigzagging across I'm gonna sit down for a little bit have a sandwich and call for a little bit might entice him to come in all right that's it just made it to the top of the mountain that deer it's all the back side of that we're in this opening right here I'll show you guys the opening and there's two bucks up here. I'm taking a break, having a sandwich. I'm gonna hang out up on the top here today, see if there's another spot. Still tracking this deer. I haven't freshened up much. But he's 
hooking in between a bunch of other deer, a bunch of does he's hooked into, but he, he followed one for a little bit and she ran off. And he went in the opposite direction. I don't know why. Well, she wasn't ready yet. I'm still following him up the, the mountain. He's still going up. <sighs> so, that's the update. Now, so I found that buck, but I ran into a moose bed, and this is fresh. Just got up. I heard something crashing down here. It's coming up off the top behind me. So, uh, I kicked up a moose. Oh, oh. Track those deer. Way up there, did a big loop, came back down, and they ended up going farther up that way. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't make it through the stuff that they were making it through. It was so thick. I, I wasn't, I, I couldn't get through it. I tried, and. Uh, I lost their tracks in there. It was so thick. I couldn't even see light through it. I had to use my flashlight on my phone just to see through there. Whew. But yeah, I was all up in there. And they're up there. You know, all the locals say, oh, the deer aren't up there. Okay. I think that's their way of saying, oh, we don't want you here hunting. Well, none of you guys are up there. I see you guys all down below. So, head to the car, get something to eat, get something to drink. I'm gonna go find another deer track. See what we can find. Stay tuned. I don't know about you guys. I think Bigfoot's here. Oh yeah, it's definitely Bigfoot. He's walking right behind camp. I don't know if I have a big enough dragon rope for him. To find out. So I'm sitting down up on this clearing that was uh, cut. Uh, I'd say it was 2019 they did this. There's tracks in here, leading up into here, and then, like, right in front of me, they're coming right in. So I'm going to stay here for the rest of the day. And, uh, see if I can call anything in. I'm going to head back to camp. I've been hearing a lot of noise up on that hill. I moved about 150 yards this way. I'd see all these tracks going up that hill. I want to bet they're all bedding down up on that hill right now. I can hear things walking around up there. My coat was soaked from that hike I did this morning, so I'm going to go back and let it dry out. About 2 o'clock, I'm going to come back. I'm going to sit my butt right over there, and I'm going to call it in. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, it's warm, but it's just the inside is still wet from sweat, so I'm gonna go do that. <sighs> yeah, so 3 30. I'm uh, slowly heading back to camp. I didn't go back up to where I said I was going to because, uh, my buddy Scott at camp was telling me, he said, oh, no, no, don't go up there. Go down, the, go up the trail behind camp, hang your left, hang a 45, and go in the woods. There were sign everywhere. And that started to snow. They're not moving now. So I'm just slowly heading back to camp. See if I can see anything walking around. That's the update.
All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for day one here in New Hampshire for 2022 season. I'm going to go back to camp, get a hot shower, get some dinner, and get some sleep. Been up since 4, 4 o'clock this morning I got up. A little tired, but what are you going to do? See you guys in the morning. Morning, everybody. It's day two here in New Hampshire. <sighs> Brisk. 15 degrees. And cold. I'm uh, just making my way up behind camp. A lot of snowshoe hair tracks out here. Some fresh coyotes. Everyone else is still getting ready to go. Randy's the only one up. Scott and Dale are still in bed. Making my way up. Let's see if we can catch a track. See if we can find something. Let's go. Oh, it's coming off the trail. Back here. And there's an ATV trail that connects to it. Just before I hit the ATV trail. I saw a track that wasn't there yesterday when I went through. I think uh, it was a buck that came off the top of the hill last night and came down into the swamp area. Uh, track snowed in, but it re-snowed. And it snowed pretty good last night. So, I'm going to go down the ATV trail and then cut in um, where I came out yesterday on it. So, Fingers crossed, I see something. Big old partridge right there. back to camp for about 25 30 minutes none of the guys are out of there yet they're still sitting there came back up here to the tree stand and there's tracks walking right under it that weren't there this morning story of my life i'm gonna sit in the tree stand for a little while do a little calling <sighs> it's tough hunting up here Hell, I'm wearing a scarf. It's cold out here. I've been up here for about two hours now. I'm doing some calling, haven't heard anything. My luck, I'll go back to camp, come back in like another hour, and deer will come right through here when I'm gone. I know I'll be up here in the morning before I head home. But it is cold. Let me give it another 20 minutes, maybe climb down, then head back to camp for an hour. Hands are frozen. So yeah, that's the update. here. Went back to camp, warm up, dry some of my clothes off for 25-30 minutes. Had a bite to eat, went back out to camp for the rest of the evening. <sighs> I hope I have some luck tonight. It's kind of depressing not seeing anything, even though you got tons of tracks everywhere, you just don't see them. It's like, they're ghosts. Where are they? Oh well. Let's see what we can do. Ten after three.
Mercury right now. Sun's going in behind some clouds, so I'll be nice. Let's get to that magic, magic time. It's like 15 degrees out here, too. The things I do for a deer. Never know. It's four twenty. <coughs> Got thirty minutes left. <sighs> Very uneventful day. Lots of fresh sign. No deer. Until about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning up here, and then I'm going to be heading back home to Vermont. See the wife and kids. Hunt a little bit back home. And then if I can, I'll come back up here for a couple more, a couple days. But, time will tell. <coughs> Alright guys, well, and day two here in New Hampshire. Heading back to camp. Get a nice hot shower. Randy's cooking up turkey, deep frying it. We're gonna have like a Thanksgiving here. So, see you guys in the morning. All right, everybody. Day three. It's about six thirty. Everyone at camp's just barely getting up. Heading to the stand. Gonna hunt until about 10. Then pack it up and head home. Let's hope I see something today. I'll see you in the stand. I'd have to admit, it is a beautiful morning out. It's 8.30, sun's coming out. God, it's gorgeous out here. It's sad today. <coughs> I think that today's my last day up here. Just love hunting New Hampshire. It's funny, the guys at camp, they've been hunting Vermont. You know, Randy's only, he only hunts Vermont. He hasn't gotten a New Hampshire license in a couple years. <laughs> he just comes up here to camp. But we're only literally two minutes from Vermont. Borders right there. Scott's been up here for like 24 days hunting. He says it's like all, it's all like Groundhog's Day to him. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to come back up next week. The season's open here until the 5th. So, I'll definitely try to come back up one more time, even if it's just for the day. I'm only an hour and 20 minutes from here, so. Be fun to come up for one more day of hunting. But, gotta head out soon, gotta get home, unpack, help my wife with everything, help get the kids caught back up to school, and then hunt tomorrow in Vermont. So, yeah. 
I might get down to them, go do a walk on the trail, and see if anybody's crossed back over. So, and maybe head out in a little bit. There's the update. See where the deer have been wandering, picking at the ground. This was all from yesterday. I don't see any new tracks. They've been coming in and out of there. Really nice, really nice deer tracks. All right, everybody. Ten, ten oh five, heading back to camp. Did my loop. Haven't seen any fresh tracks. <sighs> so that's going to end it for uh, New Hampshire 2022 season for me, unless I come back up again for another day. If I do, I'll do a video totally separate on that. I'm going to hit the shower, pack up, head home. So, thanks again for watching. everybody well thanks a lot for watching it's gonna be the uh, end of this video I'm heading back home right now go hunt Vermont tomorrow and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one